am James F. Blake, the bus driver of a bus in the city of Montgomery. And I was in conflict with a black woman because as we can see, there were white people who were standing up and there was a black person in front of the bus. So I had to remove her kindly or remove, or remove her with the aggressive police. So she chose the hard way. So I had to call the police in order to get her up in order for a white man or woman to sit down. To be honest, being a black woman on the bus, it was very disgusting what I saw because seeing a white police officer drag a, a black woman off the bus was just, I was shocked and I was speechless. So I definitely thought that I could have helped more instead of just sitting down and doing nothing. But now I know for if, the, if that ever happens again that I should speak up. Thomas Parks. Hello, girls. You see, I got this weed from Shopee Shop weed store. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's not real. The white driver named James F. Blake, that snitch. <laughs> I was treated unfairly just because of the color of my body. I don't care if it's food. You stand up. Shut it's your mouth and go and drive. It's the code of the law. I will call the police. I don't care, you snitch. Go ahead. The officer called me multiple racial slurs, but I thought of Emmett Till and I just couldn't back down because he did not and they killed him and I'm like, they got no, they got no sense. That's not fair. No. Wait, yes. snitches get stitches. You gotta, you gotta be arrested I, now. This is not right. This is not right. right. I even stuck you like Mind $20. Mind your business. Mind your business. I my business. When that wet driver stepped back towards me, I felt determination go over my body like a quilt on a winter night.